Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to learn about props in Vue.js. So, if I come to the application uh, we have created so far, here is the last component we have created alert.view. So, what is props? Props is basically a default, uh, any custom property you can give for your component. For example, we have created our alert component, and in the hello world component, we have used that alert here. We have different types of we have just three alerts here, but all of them shows the same color, the same style. What if we want to have different types of alert and anytime user create the alert, they should be able to write something like mode is equal to, let's say, this one is primary and the second one, let's say, it has another mode. This one is going to be danger and the last one is going to be, let's say, mode is equal to let's say success so this is different types of uh, value you can pass for your component but for now if I come to my application it does not show any anywhere so if I check out I don't know wh what is that you can pass the property here if you want to get that property you should come to your component and define props for that one you can put a comma here beside the name of your component and write props like this. Props can accept array, it can accept object, which we will discuss uh, in future. For now, we will pass an uh, array here and you can have as many arrays as you want. For now, I will just write mode because we have wrote uh, mode property here. So anything you write here, it should be exactly the same name here now this mode is going to contain the value which value the value you specify here so if I come to the alert uh, where we want to use that one all you can do is you can come here and you can bind class like this you write a class we will talk about binding in the future video for now just remember if you put a colon here plus the property name you can bind the value for now we just put it like this and for the value I'm going to write mode if I save it now let's come to our application and let's see if it works just fine and if I pick the component here this is for the first one as you can see we have the primary uh, value here if I open the second one for the second one we have danger and for the third one we have success so now you know it is going to work just fine so if I come to my component I will remove this one completely so what I'm going to do is I'm going to save it what if we want to have it exactly like bootstrap 4 so here is the example they have different types of alert this is just an example I'm going to show and then they say alert primary secondary success danger warning example like that so you can have different types of mode for success stuff like that if I come here this is the alert primary for now I will just remove it this is the primary I will define a few other like this is going to be success and one more I'm going to define so this is going to be danger you can have as many as you want it is all going to be related to the alert to the alert component if you write a scope here it is going to run only for this component when this component is mounted on this style will be run so let's change the color so if you want to check out a nice color so you can come here and write color red and here is the material color you can use for danger I will pick this color copy this one and then you replace it I will save it okay yeah for the border color also I will change it as well as for the color of your come for the color it should be white actually yeah color is going to be related to the text this is going to be the background color oops so this is not here okay sorry for this one okay I have to control Y this is going to be for the danger of course here is the danger one for the danger we are going to paste the red one this is going to be for danger and the color is going to be of course white 
and for this axis also we need a white color and we will have to use the green color which is this one most of them I can't remember I'm sure most other people also cannot remember the hex colors so for now it works just fine the primary one yeah of course for the primary uh, we will pick this color again I will give the color of white and here is going to be the primary one if I save it for now I come here yes Ex this is exactly what we want if you refresh the page this is exactly what we want so we have different types of alert now anywhere in my application I am going to use any other alert this is going to be the last last alert and this is going to be of course danger you save it you come here you have your component and it has a different design so this is the power of uh, props that you can use so i hope it has been informative for you if you have any question feel free to ask below the video if this is really related to what we are going to learn so see you in the next video where we discuss more about props thank you for watching